Okay, on this video, let me tell you, I have been down a rabbit hole of science that is showing over and over and over again that the best way to protect yourself against COVID-19 is to become a fat burner. And we call that metabolically flexible. So in this video, I am gonna show you how do you know if you're metabolically flexible? I'm gonna talk about what the science is saying about people who are metabolically flexible and how they're able to um, fight against the virus, the COVID virus. And then I'm gonna show you how do you become metabolically flexible? So I, I just, I, never has there been a more important time for people to step out of this sugar burning mentality and get into a fat burning place. It is not about weight loss anymore, although you will lose weight. It's about being a bad host to this virus. And that's what I wanna teach you on this video. If you are looking, you have been striving to get metabolically flexible and you've struggled to get into that place, then join us in our next metabolic reset, 15 day reset. We're doing one in July. Just put in the comments, metabolic reset, and we'll make sure that you get invited in. Because every human body was programmed for metabolic flexibility. You just, the food industry, our culture has trained us to be sugar burners and to not be metabolically flexible. And it's time to train you to go back to what you were naturally born to be and to live in a state of health that you never even knew po was possible. And in that process, you will find that you will become less fearful of this virus. Hope it helps. Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I wanna show you how to become metabolically flexible because it's in a state of metabolic flexibility that your immune system is going to be the strongest, particularly when you're dealing with a virus like COVID-19. So I wanna answer four questions for you right now. I wanna talk about what does it mean to be flat, metabolically flexible? I wanna talk about how you would know you're metabolically flexible. We're gonna talk about the science that we're seeing around what the COVID-19 virus likes and what it doesn't like and why this state of metabolic flexibility is perfect to make you a really bad host. And then we're gonna talk about, well, what is it, how do I become metabolically flexible if this is such a great place to be? So let's start off with this idea. There are two ways that you can burn energy. One is from sugar, one is from fat. When somebody is a sugar burner, typically they cannot go all day without food. They're eating six, eight meals a day. They wake up in the morning, need their cup of coffee, need their breakfast, and they eat all day long. If they go without food, they feel like they're going to crash. People who are addicted to sugar tend to be more sugar burners just because they've trained their body to do that. When you're a fat burner, you typically can go long periods without food. Uh, your body will make ketones. The sugar burners really struggle to get into ketosis. Your body will make ketones. Um, you typically aren't hungry. You typically don't crave sugar. You fast really well. And you, your ketones, because ketones are a sign that your body is burning fat, your ketones will typically go up as you fast longer. So if you resonate with either one of those, if you're resonating with this, awesome, you're probably already in this metabolically flexible state, and I'll talk a little bit more about why that's so important for COVID-19. But if you're over here and you're listening and you're like, I have to eat all day and I do crave sugar, hang in there. I'm gonna give you some steps on how to get yourself from this camp over to this camp. Okay, now, why is this so important for COVID-19? So I just put out an art, uh, a video a week ago on the most dangerous food that we are currently seeing. This is current science that's coming in that we are seeing about COVID-19. And one of the things we have found is that COVID-19, the virus can um, camouflage itself in the breakdown of sugar. So the people that are falling prey to this virus that are getting really bad symptoms uh, or even getting death are the ones that tend to have what they call comorbidities. And these comorbidities involve obesity, diabetes, cardiopulmonary um, uh, conditions. These are, are situations where we know 
those people are more of a sugar burner. So if I can get you over here into a fat burner, what we know is that when your body is using fat as a fuel for energy, that it will give you a signal by giving you ketones. Ketones will go to your mitochondria in your cell and start to power up those mitochondria. Now you have the most amount of mitochondria in your brain and in your muscles, so like your heart and your lungs and in your muscles like, you know, like your biceps. So you also have quite a bit of, of mitochondria in your eyes. So if I take you at this time when we are in a pandemic and I take you from a state of being a sugar burner and I bring you over here into a metabolically flexible person, now I'm powering up your mitochondria and it's as simple as now you're getting more regeneration of uh, neurons in your brain, you're going to end up with better, you're, it can pull you out of fight or flight. So you're in your um, prefrontal cortex so that you're not in this state of stress. We know that stress dampens the immune system. So if I can get your body making ketones, it can nourish the prefrontal cortex. It can, it can make things like as ketones go up, GABA is going to go up. It's going to pull you out of fight or flight. Now, We've got a brain that's ready to heal. We don't have a brain that's over here that's in reaction moment mode and not healing as efficiently. So the first thing that it can do is it can help your brain be better prepared for fighting this infection. Okay, second thing is that we got to look at what your mitochondria actually do for you outside of making you energy. One of the things that the mitochondria does is it produces something called glutathione. And glutathione is your ultimate antioxidant. Well, one of the problems that we're seeing with COVID right now is that when people start to, uh, the virus starts to attack a body, it creates a cytokine reaction. And this cytokine reaction um, can end up uh, being triggered and not turning off, which is part of why we're seeing this collapse in the lungs. Well, there is some really interesting research that's showing that when you give somebody who is in a cytokine reaction a glutathione IV, that you can stop that cytokine reaction, um, specifically when we're dealing with COVID. So let's unpack that a little bit. Glutathione stops cytokine reactions. Glutathione is produced by the mitochondria. Mitochondria are energized by ketones. Ketones happen when you're in a fat burning state, which is what we also call metabolically flexible. So the way my brain thinks is, okay, let's take people from here. Let's put you over here. We've got your, your body making ketones. We are healing the mitochondria. We're healing the brain. And now we're getting you more glutathione so that you can stop any cytokine storm from, from uh, moving or progressing into an out of controlled place. This also goes, by the way, for autoimmune conditions. Okay, the other thing that we know, Study after study after study is showing how the more sugar you have in your bloodstream, the more, the higher your diet is with sugar, the more it creates an armor for the coronavirus so that it, it, it can cam its, camouflage itself from your immune system. Well, one of the ways that, one of the things we know about metabolically flexible people is they typically have to lower down their sugar intake so that they can become metabolically flexible. So just this, the act of getting you from here to here is already going to force you to have to lower your sugar down. Okay. And then the other thing we know about metabolically flexible people is that they tend to fast more. And something as simple as intermittent fasting has proven over and over and over again, the New England Journal of Medicine showed this, that it will help with things like obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. Those are three of the co comorbidities for COVID virus, that those are the people that are falling prey to this because they already had oxidative stress, they already had a lot of inflammation, they already had a cytokine storm going, and then the virus came to town and got them. So how about in this scenario, again, that we just take the world and get them over here to be metabolically flexible so that if the virus hits them, 
it's the immune system can handle it and we don't start this cascade of events that destroys the body. You follow me? Okay, so how do we get you metabolically flexible? And I'm gonna give you some, some really like specific easy steps. The first, you're gonna need to bring down your sugar load. So um, go watch the video I did on how to unhook yourself from, from sugar. There are nine things that I explained to you there on what you can do. So bring down your sugar levels. First thing, get off refined sugar, get off fructose, put the soda pop away, get, get off that stuff, okay? Second thing is I would encourage you, if you really are struggling to get over here into the metabolically flexible world, is you may have to go one step further and get off carbs. Things like breads and pastas and cookies, crackers, all the more processed foods, you're just gonna have to bring your carb content down. For some of you, you may even have to give up fruit in order to bring yourself over here. Now, what's really cool about metabolically flexible people is once we get you over here, you actually can come over and have a sweet or two and then come back into a state of fat burning. And so that's the whole goal of that's the flexible piece is to be able to step out and step back in. So you're gonna lower your refined sugar, you're gonna get off all the carbs like the breads and the pastas, and some of you may have to get off fruit. And then the second piece of met being metabolically flexible is that we wanna be able to bring you over here um, through strategies of fasting. Intermittent fasting being the greatest tool that we all should be applying right now. You don't have to have money for that. So we all should be working on intermittent fasting right now. And um, I also feel like the 24 hour fast right now is a great fast. So if you can get yourself to one meal a day, that's gonna move you from this group over to this group, okay? So it's not that hard, we just have to have an awareness. And what's killing me right now is we've got the politicians standing up and saying, wear more masks, wear more masks. And I'm not saying don't wear a mask, but why don't we say drink less soda pop? Why don't we say, eat less desserts. Why don't we say, let's move the world from a sugar burning mentality over here into a fat burning mentality. And that is the mission that I am on and why I keep giving you guys video after video and showing you science after science, because it's so important if we are gonna stop the spread of virus, this virus, we are gonna have to take personal action. And the first personal action we have to take is to move people from sugar burners to fat burners. And in that is everything you ever wanted for your health. This is where you're gonna lose weight. This is where your brain power is gonna be incredible. This is where you're gonna have more energy than you know what to do with. And you're gonna be able to fight this virus incredibly well. So as you can tell, my vision for what we can, we can do with the world right now, just in this one concept is huge. If this is new to you, if you've struggled to get into ketosis, Please join us in our next Metabolic Reset. We're doing one in June. We're gonna show you how to become metabolically flexible. We're gonna show you how to keep your immune system high so that you can be a bad host and we can stop the spread of this. And the only way that we're going to get to this place where this virus shuts down is when we take personal action. So if you wanna join us in our next Metabolic Reset, please just put metabolic reset in the comments and I will make sure that you get sent a link. Um, in that, it's a small group and we take you through these principles so that you uh, finally, finally get to this place of optimal health, optimum uh, metabolic flexibility, and you don't have to fear this virus anymore. So. Okay, there is my highly opinionated video for you guys today. And I, once again, I'm leaving all the science behind everything that I said. So if you are uh, needing to fact check, go, go and dive into my notes so it's there for you. Uh, if you wanna join me in the Metabolic Reset, please come in, let's change the world together. Uh, I know we can do this and, and, and we, can, we are gonna have to start to look within. So as always, I hope that helps.